It's amazing how many people that are in a terminal situation can reverse it if they take control of their own, you know, issues. More people should do it. But we give it all up to MDs, the right prescriptions for drugs from drug companies that own them. A recent study shows that blueberry extract, proanthocyanidins, I'm never going to get the word right, it's just not going to happen. Proanthocyanidins, this word here. <laughs> Proanthocyanidins is the ingredient that these researchers found that stops the hepatitis C virus's ability to reproduce. Now, most people mistake this study and think that it's only the leaf. And it says here that th their study revealed that the blueberry leaf derived inhibitor was proanthocyanidins. So that big long word is the item that inhibits hepatitis C virus's reproduction. It doesn't matter whether it's in the leaf or not. Anyway, uh, I, I did a huge search for blueberry leaf extract and I found it really cheap for three dollars up to ten dollars a bottle but if your blueberry leaf doesn't have pro anthocyanidins in it uh, it's not going to work. <laughs> there were ten Japanese uh, researchers and doctors that did the study and they were looking for agricultural items that would block the hepatitis C virus they tested 350 different items. This particular study doesn't say how, it just says it blocks its ability to reproduce. And I had these specially made to match the study and they are they're labeled on the bottle as being 45 percent pro anthocyanidins. However we did a uh, independent laboratory analysis and this batch came out at 54 percent which is a little higher a little better let's see I'll read it purified proanthocyanidins showed dose dependent inhibition of expression of the neomyosin resistant gene and the NS3 protein gene and the hepatitis C virus sub Subnome in replication cells. Read the study. Type in blueberry extract on Google and read the study. It's all over the internet. And it'll tell you how it works. But we have the product and it's the only one on the market. This is our third batch already. There was no supplier. See, most people don't know this, but there's big companies out there. A lot of them are drug companies that have all kinds of different products. And you buy them and you encapsulate them but they didn't have this in this strength so we had to have it made. This study suggests blueberry leaves. We went to great lengths to make the product the same as the product in the study. There's ones on the market that are cheap and the reason they're cheap is because they're just a bunch of dried up ground up blueberries. 